welcome back to another episode. My name is Mavi, and today we're gonna check out Mana Spark. By the way, this is the show Mob Impressions, where I play a game for about half an hour or so and give you my true and honest thoughts at the end of it. Now, some of you who are longtime subs watching this might think, hey, this game looks familiar. Wait, Mob, you did play Mana Sparks. Yeah, I did. I played the Steam release version, but guess what? This is the Switch port. So we're gonna check it out, see how the controls feel. But yeah, this, I know this game is good already. So I can't wait to just compare the versions and see how it is. So let's get started. Let's look at the options here. Audio, controls, languages. Uh, that's it, that's all you need, kind of. So if you've never seen Mana Spark before, this game is a rogue-like game where you, you know, you, you build up a camp and then you slowly go through it. Um, Floors and floors that get progressively harder, procedurally generated, you get different buffs. If you played like The Binding of Isaac, it's kind of like that, except this one has a permanent uh, base where you build up. So you can get, you can unlock new characters, you can unlock more weapons, you can upgrade those weapons, maybe get better starting stats and all that stuff. So here we go. This is the tutorial opening area. Let's begin. Let's, let's, let's get started. All right. So here I am. Here I am. L. That's the dodge button. Rock you like a hurricane, and then you use a little red stick, and the R, <laughs> and it's the fire button. Oh, that's cool. It's like a it's, like, it's a bumper. Can you tell it's like a it's like a switch bumper? And this is the uh, the trigger right there. It's the right stick. Oh, that's funny. Hey, hey, get out of my face. So I know, like, I'm so happy that this game is on Switch because I like it so much. I I I I did stream it a lot, but I couldn't get ready for it because I suck. But I'm definitely gonna be playing this on my off time for sure because it's cool. Lee, wait, there you are. The trail goes in this direction. The gates and the stairs in the middle of the forest are so weird. We should keep looking for clues. The only chance we may see are our family and friends again. My car won't fit. I'll find another way around. Meet you soon. So this guy's going to be in your town later, your base town. Uh, but I think we're just going to go through a dungeon, a little tutorial dungeon still. Figure out how to play and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is, this is a pretty cool game. Yeah, I love the name of it. Mana Spark. Mana Spark. Come on, man. Loading. Rocking like a hurricane. Why am I singing that? I I don't know. I should be singing like, Welcome to the jungle. Even though we're not in a jungle. It's a forest. All right, here we go. I apologize. All right, here we go. So it's a wolf, wolf, wolf. Shoot him in the butt. You can see the uh, my, my cross here. It, it goes into like some sort of loading animation. That's my cooldown for my weapon. Um, it can be changed. Well, either depending on the weapon you use, or maybe if you get an upgrade. So th this is a mana rune one I just picked up. It's gonna be used for permit the permanent upgrades. You can open, you can press this with A, or as you saw earlier, you can just attack it. There you go. We're going in. Do -do -do. Is it gonna be another long loading screen? Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember if it took this long to load on the PC, but I guess so far that would be the only thing I could say. Like, because it's not like a huge, crazy, like graphically intense game, is it? So we'll see how the loading is later. Look at this place I found. If we're serious about finding what happened to the people of our village, we can't just keep running around like fools. We can set up an encampment here, so we... Oh! <gasps> Nani? What is that? Holy crap! <laughs> That's a completely real and charged brood, and it's a magic stone that can hold small charges of mana energy for future use. Of course. Of course you never saw one. It's utterly insanely illegal for a human to carry one. But why would gallblads be carrying around here? Oh, I have an idea. Give me the rune. I'll try to use it to make a bright rune in the future so people coming to our village can see and join us. Thanks. Keep an eye out. I'll be on my way. All right. Very cool. So we're supposed So this is the area. So it's going to get filled up as you play the game over time. And then you talk to NPCs and they do stuff. Like this guy will say, he yeah, search for volunteers. So we just go. We just go straight into the dungeon and the game begins right here. It's right here. Rock you like a hurricane. So there's different like levels, like a forest level. I think there's like maybe two to three floors of forest, and then you go in like the dungeons and stuff like that. <clears throat> so personally, I've never beaten this game. This game's pretty hard, but it's fun and it's addicting. So Wolf's Bane Wood. So this is where it begins. There's the um, top right you can see there. That is the floor. Here it is blocked. The red rooms usually means hey, that's where um, the boss room is. Oh, oh. Okay, so watch out. Oh, it's nice playing on a big screen too. I'm going to press this. Oh, okay. Be cool. Be cool. Blech. <laughs> uh, man, okay. Dodge. Got to remember to dodge a lot. We got one monies and one um, the rune. I got hit. These guys did half damage to me. All right. So the money, is, uh, you don't really use it. I, I, I don't remember if you use the money for anything except for in-game. 
Like, like, if you use it for- Oh, <laughs> I knocked that gold blight. It was on top of that wolf. Can I eat this? Uh, maybe. Because there are shops that you can use. But I don't remember if you use it in the permanent, like, camp. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Rock you like a herb. I'm going to say that every single time. I don't know why it's on my mind. I should just go listen to it after this to get it out of my system before the next video. <laughs> na, 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 na. You guys ever see that Tom Cruise, like, Rock of Ages? That was pretty cool. Not going to lie. I love me some musicals. Let's go. Pat. Suck it. Oh, crap. I should dodge a lot more. So every enemy in this game it has a pattern. The wolf will run up to you before, like, striking. This gold bat shoot at you, and then you'll see different enemies do different stuff later. So, um, even though these runes, the, these runes are, um, permanent things to upgrade, if you die here, you lose them all. You have to bank them by getting to a certain point in the game. Oh, there's our first random chest. Ah, I'm gonna die already. I'm gonna die already? No, not like this. Come on, man. And yeah, sometimes they do drop health. Okay, what's this? So, this is our first random item of the game. What the hell is this? First sip of milk, health up, enemies that hit you are poison. Oh, cool. So you can see there, we have a maximum of four um, circles, or four hard pieces, I guess. I don't know. Nice, and poison. Well, that's good, because I keep getting hit anyway. So I'm going to rock them like a hurricane. Now I'm just doing it to meme. Peculiar room. So that's the end of the first little area. So there you go. See, there you go. You banked them out. You banked them, and then here is our shop. So you can use one coin to activate these. And once you do, these also cost money. So I think it's like 5 to 15 cents or 15 gold coins to buy a random item. Or I think you choose one. No, no. These are the ones you pay for. Yeah, these are the ones you pay for. So as the active items and passive items, of course. Releases petrifying thorns, freezes enemies, and heals one for one coin. So this is like an SS class, which is pretty cool. But I think we're going to go for this. So we get one free item. Da -da -da -da. So we get one free item, the rest go away. And then you can use seven again to get even more stuff. So let's see what this does. Health way up, but you cannot eat anymore. That's very dangerous. Health way up. Damages you once. <laughs> so we get hit. And then, what's this one? Petrifies the enemies that hit you and close one to you. Oh, these are all pretty crazy. Should we go for this one? Damages you once. Oh, look at my health way up, though. Damn, we have six health. So we'll go ahead. So this is not a heal. This thing is for when you want to um, uh, quit the game and come back later. But since we're on a Switch, guess what? You just go back out, which is pretty cool. Look at all the games I have. No, this is pretty cool. Dude, fitness boxing. I can't wait to... This, this is the demo. You guys should absolutely get the demo and try this out. It's pretty cool. Smash Bros. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, upcoming review for Everspace. Uh, Mages of Mysteria, Valkyrie, and Don't Sink. Ooh. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. I love the Switch, dude. It's such a good console. I just don't know how, like, actually powerful it is. Like, how far can they push it? Like, I don't think... I don't suppose there's any way that they can put in Monster Hunter World on here. Of course, they put on the Monster Hunter Generations, like, X or whatever. I love the first Generations. I would have loved to play X, you know, on the Switch. Monster Hunter on the go. I mean, that, that's how it was with Generations, but I'm going to die. God damn, I was too busy talking out my ass. I'm dead. All right, well, guess what? We can see what happens now. Back in camp. But yeah, Monster Hunter World. I just, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't want to go back from Monster Hunter World. I'm not, you know, not just not graphics, but just like gameplay, you know, going back to painting the monster, no more sliding. Whew. It's just a hard to go back to, especially when I'm already playing Monster Hunter World all the time. It's like, I don't have time to play both those. And I think there's still people. Give me runes so I can get their attention. Search for volunteers for two runes. So I can give them two runes, but hold on. There's a new character who jumped in here. Check this out. Greetings. Good to see someone working to uncover the current events. I'll be glad to help as soon as I get rid of this mess. So someone's in here. And we might as well give him the runes. So here we go. So someone new is going to pop up again. And um, I think the guy with the anvil is going to be ready to help you out. So, more runes to help you out. Alright, let's go again. God, I did, I did not like my starting item. So, we got, like, health ups and whatever. I need more than that. Dude, uh, I don't remember if we can um, charge up our bow. Or oh, might be another character. Let's find out. Hold on. Nope, we can charge it. See? I don't remember if it does more damage. I guess we could find out. I think wolves take two hits. So, I'll try to charge up against a wolf. I'll see if it kills it. Like, these guys are one here for sure. Like, 
Later, sucker. Well, give me a wolf. God dang it. Oh, Ooh, there's a new enemy up there. So I cannot strafe and um, move at the same time if you're injured. If you're wondering, I don't think I mentioned that. All right, there's a new enemy. God dang, he's summoning a bunch of baboons over here. God dang, that's annoying. He won't stop summoning them. Great. I have to go around like this. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Two shots. Not too bad. But it's like, come on, man. Ugh. Hey, this guy can easily get out of control. Luckily, he stopped. Ooh. Okay, we're out of here. Nothing in this place. Not a single coin. No rune. Boo. All right. It is definitely to your benefit to check out every single room, you know, for opportunities for drops. That's the only way to get stronger in this game. Permanently stronger, besides your skills, of course. If you're really good, you know, I think you just beat the game straight out, no matter what you're using. But you have to be pretty familiar with all the enemies and all the different sorts of, like, traps. Rocket like a hurricane. Okay. Wolf bait in bitch. I'm ready. All right, here's the wolf. I'm going to try charging it up. No, I don't think it does. At least I don't feel like it did. Eesh. Hat. Come on, bro. Eesh. I have to do... I, I do have to say, though, compared to uh, using a mouse and keyboard, WASD and the mouse, and aiming with the Switch, it's a lot more precise with the mouse. But, you know, I guess after playing this for so long, I'll probably get used to it. But I, I do have to say... You know, that, that's one thing that the PC has above it. Loading times, depending on your own computer, of course. And, um, yeah, the aiming. It's a little awkward, but that's okay. Eh, and, you know, that's not saying this is bad. I'm just comparing it to, like, the other version. Because I've played extensively the other one. Woof! Gold bat! I think it was called a gold bat, right? All right, here we go. Item again. Na 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 na. Ooh, hammer! Uh, stronger knockback and damage up. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I don't have a single coin yet. Am I going into the peculiar room already? Oh, please, no, no, not the peculiar room. Oh my god, that's some pretty bad luck. Zero coins. Oof. So if you step on this, you lose health and you get coins. So there you go. I guess you could do that. What's this? Slows down enemies. That's a net. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a net you throw on the ground and they run on top of it. Alright, here we go. Oh, shoots one more projectiles. I love this one. It's really good. Shuffle these again. Or doubles the attack if you're close. No, no, no. We're going to get shoots one more projectile. It's really powerful. So our damage went up because of the hammer. And we get double projectile. So we can attack two enemies at once or a very large enemy twice. Very powerful. Like The weapon we have here with this character is slow as balls. Later on, you get other characters that can actually strafe and shoot. Might be a little bit weaker. But um, it's good. And different dodges. This one has iframes with their dodges. The other characters have like dashes and all that stuff. So I'll try to get actually get through a dang room here. Instead of die by a skeleton right away. I, whenever I see the actual the ad projectile, I always pick it up, dude. It's so it's just too powerful. Okay, watch out for these guys. Oof, look at that. So these guys have a pretty easy tell. You just gotta freaking be careful. If there's multiple of them, you sometimes forget. So you gotta be very careful. Dude, I don't understand why none of these guys are dropping coins. Oh, this guy. Watch out for the shield. Oh, oh. So these guys are powerful, right? So you can attack the shield. See, I have to put my crosshair, not on him, but a little bit away from him. Like so. To actually hit him with the second shot. Or, it's actually crossbow up. Or just walk up and hit him in the back, I guess. That works, too. This guy's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oosh. More damage. Hello. Oh my! I wanted to show you guys what happens if we go back to town. <laughs> you need a lot of patience with this game. It's not like Dark Souls. You run in and you smack, smack, smack and run. Or Zelda. You gotta be patient. I'm, I'm being pretty impatient right now. Alright, so here we go. So this is another new guy jumping in. Uh, yep, so this guy's something with food. Here's a blacksmith. Here we go. I'm responsible for things used to hurt. I make them hurt even more. So these are items that we can find in the game, right? So we have the bear trap and the sticky web. We can use one rune to level it up and the sticky web. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, so you find these in the game or you can buy them right here to use them permanently. So I'm going to grab that. 
Boom. So the bear trap, we get it. And then we could upgrade it even more. So we so the bear trap it stays with us. So if we use a ZL, can't use it here. Uh, it sticks with us. So there we go. We got a permanent upgrade already. This guy needs more runes for more peoples. Cool. Nah, nah, nah. I suck at this game. I had a good build too. Damage and projectile up. Wow. All right. I remember a bad habit that I had playing this game on PC. Whenever I had like uh, active items, I hardly used them. I got to use them a lot more. They're just on cooldown, you know. So, yeah, this like I said, this game you have to be super patient. And I'm like sometimes I'm just not. So let me just show you how this works. There you go. So you throw it like that. Boom. A little bit of damage there. Ooh, a rune. A rune. Oh, crap. Can I throw this on there? Crap. Should I see if I can throw it on the plant? Hey, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. So if you throw it out, it does destroy the other one, which is interesting. Guess I can't throw it on the plant because the plant doesn't walk anywhere. Show yourself. Ooh. Oh, my God. He's not dead. Ah. All right. It's over. Oh, I missed! D dude, kill this guy. Come on. No! It's like a boss right here. And yeah, this game does have bosses. Permanent bosses. Oh, our first time killing a pig. So they charge like crazy. You gotta be careful. Ah! But they usually drop meats like that. So yeah, they're freaking nice. Have a trap, have a trap, and a trap, and a trap. So it's a little weak the trap, but like I said, upgrade it. There you go. So you just eat it. Nom nom nom. Do 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 do. Rocking like a hurricane. I am going to have a ruffle ship. Hmm. Very salty. Hmm. I love me salt and vinegar. This one isn't salt and vinegar. I'm just saying I like it. All right, this is our chest. God dang it! This enemy is annoying. Jesus! Oh, he's cool. He's dead. He's cool. He, are you cool, bro? You cool? Oh my god! All right, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, it's the health up again. All right. I think that that's one thing. I guess this game doesn't have too much of is different. <laughs> you, you see the same items every single, like almost every single time. You know, I wish it had a lot more. Like, dude, like one thing that the like people love with the Binding of Isaac is not only the theme, you know, the dark humor, but my God, it has like a million items, and that what that's what keeps people playing over and over and over again. All the different combinations, getting that perfect run with good items. So I think if you ever make some sort of you know, procedurally generated roguelike game with this, where you rely on items, definitely crab like a million of them, because oh, that's what makes it so fun to play. Like, I think that's why I stopped playing this, because it was like, there's it too much after you play for like tons and tons of hours? Poison attack, that's okay, but I think we're gonna shuffle these. Ah, uh, see, here it is again. See, I'm gonna get it again. Running speed, um, running speed up, attack speed up. Piercing projectiles, health way down. Yeah, I'm going for this again. Um, yeah, that speed thing's pretty good though. I think that means like recharge speed might not mean um, You know the other thing like projectile speed Rock like a hurricane no, 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 no. One more ruffle ship, please <laughs> Okay, here we go, maybe I can get through a floor That would be cool. Oh, this is a challenge room. I'll do it. You're supposed to get hit, though. Oh. What? What? Come on, man. There we go. It's the challenge room. Shit. So it could be a boss. Could be a lot of enemies here. Uh, I forget what you get. Ah, forget what you get. But here's hoping we can freaking do it. Our damage is not increased. We just have two projectiles now. Might as well kill the dang. Skeletons, I've been doing it already. Are right, you down? So this is only wave one of this thing. There's no way there's only like that much. 
Alright, I'm gonna play really safe here. Ooh, double projectile hit. Alright, 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 be cool, be cool, be cool. Be cool, everyone. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. No, no! Oh, the freaking cooldown. This freaking delay is like um, attack delay, man. Shit. Oh, okay, one down. Right, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ow! He's protecting the skeleton. Not on purpose. I assure you. Cool, I'm attacking you. I love how all your arrows just stick there. Like, it shows you every single arrow that I've shot and missed. Come on, I think one more shot. Yes. All right, you. You! You! Da, da. Ha, soldier boy. Ha, ha. Crapper. Oh, my God. I missed. Okay, cool. I think you can destroy the shield. All right, remember. Oh, did I just hit that? Did that guy just get hit on the thingy? Nice. Oh, okay, this might be the last wave. God dang it. Oh, I can make them step on the thing. Though. Oh, no, he is defending it. Okay, I assure you he's defending it. <laughs> That's why it's to defend. I'm dead. Sorry, guys. I failed. I, I'm, I suck at this game. I'm sorry. I'll get better. I'll get better. I promise. All right. Let's look at the permanent camp again. I think we banked at least two runes. <laughs> I'm so shit. Uh. Rock like a hurricane. All right. So check it out. So this guy's food thing. So this is permanent up upgrades here. So you pay two runes and now these stuffed eggs increases your chance of finding runes. So you unlock this and then permanent up forever. Well, not forever until you switch out food. So it's like, hey, you eat stuffed eggs before you go. But you can only eat one meal. So as you play, you're going to unlock more. Like increases your attack permanently. Increases rune finding. Increases you know movement speed. And then you'll have to get rid of this one. So this one's okay as a starting one. You know what I mean? Now I'm playing. Uh, oh my goodness, the trip almost got me killed. Let me restore my energy. So I think this person, if we go in and die, come back. Might be, hey, you can switch out your character. So here we go. So we can keep upgrading. All that good stuff. And then this guy is maybe going to want even more runes. I'm afraid there aren't many people around. I'll keep looking. So we, there, there's still more to get and do. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode of Mob Impressions. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe for daily videos. Let's quickly talk about the game. Mass Mark, good fun, procedurally generated roguelike. Like I said, I, I have a video on before if you want to see my original thoughts on it. And I also have some good Let's Plays on it, long Let's Plays, because I did stream it. Follow me on Twitch, I do stream on there. And uh, yeah, this game's cool. I'd say it's exactly like the PC port. Nothing bad at all. It's a very you know, it's a very pixelated game. Not too hard to port, right, For graphically. Uh, Control-wise, it fits perfectly, except that it's a little hard to control. Maybe I would say use a Pro Control for a much more better experience. I'm using just the regular control. I just want to see how it is you know, using the regular Joy-Cons connected to the thingy of a bomb. But it's a little hard to aim, but I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're just console all day, you probably have no problem. All that good stuff. So, hey, good mass mark. Great game. Um, every single day, new mom impressions, new videos. I'm telling you guys, tomorrow, we got some good games coming up. Don't sink in. I'll do these two tomorrow. Maybe this one. Oh, there it is. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I told you my thoughts. What are your guys's? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you going to pick it up? Have you played on PC? What do you think? Maybe there's something you saw that's different that I didn't. Let me know. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time.